Hi guys! For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my updated train case video. I did one of these a while back, I think it was years ago. I got a new um, makeup train case for my freelance uh, makeup. I do a lot of weddings and stuff, so just going to be showing you guys what I pack in my train case and kind of an overview of what I picked out. I did just purchase this and it is the Saya, I think that's how you say it, um, soft sided train case. I will have a link below of where I purchased it from. I got it off yasmo.com I think um, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. A lot of you have been asking what I pack um, when I do do weddings and proms and special occasions and I do a lot of that stuff on the side. So, so this is my professional train case um, and everything that I pack in it. Yeah. I'm just gonna jump right in and show you guys. I did do a video on this makeup, so look out for that. That'll probably be going up after this video, um, but just wanted to do an intro for my train case video because I did not do an intro for that. Um, hope you guys enjoy watching and let's roll into the video. So here's what the train case looks like that I picked out. Um, I went with the gray color. And I will have the link below of exactly the style that I chose, but I'm just going to kind of show you an overview of everything, um, what's in the pockets, and what I keep in here, what I have in my kit for freelancing. So far, super happy with this. This is my first Seiya Beauty um, train case. So First thing that I do want to add is that it does come with a strap that you can attach on the sides here. So if you want to carry it, you can. Um, mine is super heavy, so I probably won't be carrying it on my shoulder, but it does have wheels so you can wheel it around and carry it that way, which is what I normally do. There is also a little handle at the top. One thing that I really loved about this was that it had these metal buckles. I just think it looks really nice and professional. And then on the side, there are also some buckles that keep the top from coming up um, especially when you're holding it from the top so you unbuckle the sides unbuckle the front so this is what it looks like when you open it up i'm first going to start off with what i keep on the sides and then we'll go into everything in here there are two pockets here one is a pretty large pocket at the top and then there is another smaller pocket at the bottom that has a zipper this one is just velcro and what I like to keep in here is some hand sanitizer. I have a big pack of makeup remover wipes. Um, these were just sent to me by Mac and you know, you could use anything, but um, I just figured I would have, you know, a good big pack of makeup wipes just in case anyone um, needs to remove makeup or I need to. Um, and this is a pack of 100. So I keep that in there. Also, I like to bring some of my Cinema Secrets makeup brush uh, cleanser. This looks a little janky, I've had it for a while. But this is one of the best quick drying makeup um, brush cleaners. It's great for on the go. Um, you don't need to use any water or anything. Brushes don't need to be rinsed. You literally just put this on a towel, you know, stir your brushes in and it dries super quickly but gets all the product off. So I love to keep this with me. I just have a little one because I don't need to use this that often. I also like to put this in a spray bottle. I also like to keep alcohol with me, spray alcohol. This is to clean up um, any table that I'm using. I have just two sprayers. This is actually rubbing alcohol and this is a cleaning alcohol for um, beauty implements. So if I need to clean tweezers or um, an eyelash curler or anything that I would need to clean before a client uses, so this is just for cleaning for on the go. Um, and I get these little spray bottles at like Sally's Beauty or something. So that is in that pocket. And then in this bottom pocket, um, these are just some like miscellaneous things. Like I have some Q-tips just in case, um, you know, I need to touch up someone's eyes or, you know, I would have this or tissues, but most likely with any event that I'm going to, especially a wedding, um, they usually have tissues. So I just like to keep some Q-tips. I also like to keep some bobby pins. Um, I don't know. I feel like sometimes I do need a hair pin or something to put someone's hair back. Uh, you know when I'm putting makeup on so I just have this I, I got this from CVS but I just like refill it all the time with like bobby pins so I have that and then I also keep my 
Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is the pro one. It's like extra large. Usually they're like a small white little one. This one is the black one and it's just a big um, solid soap that you clean your beauty blenders with. So I like to use this all the time. It is amazing for cleaning beauty sponges. So I keep that with me. So on the other side, there are two large pockets. Um, I didn't really have anywhere to put my makeup setting sprays, which this is perfect for that. So I like to keep some of my setting sprays that I use pretty often, um, like the Morphe Prep and Set, I'm obsessed with. I use this on myself, but it's amazing. Um, so I'm actually going to be getting more of this because I'm like running low. So I figured I would bring an extra. This is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant. I also like to bring my Scandinavia Primer Spray, which is just nice before your... Um, foundation. So Scandinavia is also one of those makeup setting sprays that I have used for years. Um, I've gotten these big ones, especially for my kit. So I've gone through an entire, probably I've gone through a few of these big ones of the like original setting spray, but this one is the primer spray. So yeah, I keep three of these in there. I have some of this MAC strobe cream. I was just thinking of trying this on some clients. It's basically like a um, hydrating like luminizing cream so um, I just have those in there as well this other pocket I keep all of my beauty sponges so a morphe one these are all beauty blenders they're just different colors um, and I just keep multiple with me that way if I have you know several clients to do in a row I don't have to waste time with you know cleaning another beauty sponge but I just have four with me and then I also keep a big bag of extra sponges and these are just ones that you can get you know at any drugstore um, they're just the cosmetic wedges so I keep those um, as well and I just put these in here and that is it for the outside of the train case now moving on to the inside. So when I got this train case, I knew that I wanted something practical for setting up at venues. And you'll see what I mean when I open it up. Um, this I can leave, hold on, let me adjust the camera. This is awesome because I can leave this open or this opens up, opens up and there are drawers in here, which you can actually completely take out which is great if I have a tabletop that I am putting all my products on, I can literally just set everything up. One thing that I struggled with with my other train case was it was just kind of hard to grab products. Um, I was kind of just throwing everything everywhere and the fact that this had drawers, like that is what made me buy this. I just, I loved the style of this. There's actually a brush roll, um, which is really nice, but I actually don't really use that brush roll because I have all of my brushes right here. I have a brush belt, so I just take this, um, but any extra brushes I can probably put on here also this can be removed. It's Velcro, so you can take this off. They actually have little inserts, like little bags, clear bags that you can put up there, which I'll probably end up doing, but honestly, I don't need the extra space. I just keep this up here for any extra brushes that I might need, so um, that's that. And then in this top portion, I keep obviously my brush roll. So all of these brushes I believe are Morphe. I've gotten so many brushes the past few years that I was able to kind of have my, you know, kit for clients and then brushes that I use on myself. I love Morphe brushes. I think they are affordable. I have a bunch of different styles here, definitely um, from different collections but all of these are Morphe. I could so. go into a whole video of just my brush kit, but I that would just take too long. So anyway, I keep my brush roll. And then at the bottom is all of my palettes. I have a lot of different palettes here. I kind of switch them out here and there just depending on what I, what I want to use. Um, but I I've made these Z palettes, which I've used for years that have all of my Makeup Geek stuff in it. So this is a blush palette from Makeup Geek. Um, very similar to MAC blushes. I also have a MAC palette, but I just feel like I use this one more. Um, it definitely needs to be cleaned. <laughs> two Makeup Geek um, palettes with all the individual eyeshadows. I have a colorful palette and a just neutral um, warm tone palette. I've, I've used this a lot over the years. 
you can tell some of my favorites. I mean, I <laughs> wanna use a lot of the palettes that I have on clients, but I also like to use them on myself. So having Z palettes, I mean, I've used this a ton on myself as well, but having Z palettes that are just, you know, for clients, I think are great for any kit. Um, again, if you wanna break out, like for instance, I have two Morphe palettes. Um, one of these I've used a lot. This is the 35-0. And another great palette. You could really pick any shades in here. Um, a lot of the brides and, you know, everyone goes for like a neutral look or, you know, just adding a little bit of sparkle on the eyes. This is a great palette. I like to put in the bigger palettes for my kit just so I have a big variety. Um, so 35.0, and then this is the brand new 35.02, which I haven't tried for myself, but I figured I would put it in my kit. They changed their logo, but this is literally untouched. Um, so very similar to the 35.0, but a lot more warm toned. Great for fall. Um, so this is going to be nice for my, uh, autumn weddings, but yeah, so two big, like, Morphe palettes in here. Um, I also like to keep my brow palette from Anastasia. I have used this on myself a lot, but it's great for clients because it has every shadow that you could, you know, need for anyone. Um, and I like the brow powders as opposed to pencils. Um, it's just so much easier for a kit. So, um, love that. I also just put in a Too Faced, um, the Little Black Book of Bronzers. I have a bunch of bronzers in here. Um, I also have some of my smaller contour kits in the drawers. So these are just like bigger palettes. Um, I did throw in the contour kit by Anastasia. This one I have used for clients only. I have two of these. So that's all the palettes up top. And then I have this, which is what I was saying. I sanitize a lot. This is what I put all my foundations, concealers, everything. So I'm not putting it on my skin. Um, it just makes things more sanitary. So... Yeah, I don't know what don't these things are called. I forgot, um, but this is from Morphe. So I just well. keep that right there on the side. It kind of has this netting, which I'm not really sure is... I don't know if you're supposed to put, like, extra things in here, but I don't put anything in there. Um, but it does have that all along the side. So, that is up top of the train case. I like that um, you can unclip these, but I prefer to keep them clipped. Um, or else, I will show you. The back kind of goes, like flying backwards so um, it's nice if you want to use this for your brushes you can just have it propped up and clipped the whole time so these are all of the drawers that are inside now these can get pretty heavy um, I have a lot of products in here I ended up labeling these I, I want to get like a nice label but I just like taped some paper and wrote what what was in each drawer um, the great thing about these, which is what I was saying is um, awesome for if you want to like set up your drawers and everything instead of just keeping them in here, you, you can take out the four drawers. So there are two of them and you can see how long they are. So you can really fit a lot of products. Um, so what I like to do is just take these out and put them like on a table that I'm working on. So the first drawer I have is foundation and concealers. Right now, I have a assortment collection of Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealers. I love these because they have the squeeze tube. Um, you know, like I said, I like to put everything on that um, palette thing, and then I like to go off of that. Um, I don't like to use the doe foot applicator concealers too much. I mean, I end up putting it on there anyway, but um, this is great because it's just sanitary. And I have underneath all of the Born This Way foundations from Too Faced. And I have like every, every shade of this. This drawer is pretty heavy. <laughs> I do not want to use liquid foundation. I have another drawer which has stick foundations. These drawers lock, which is great. Um, you push this button down and then you pull it out. And if you can hear, it kind of like locks into place, so I really like that. Drawer has a bunch of the Anastasia um, stick foundations. I have like every shade in this as well. Um, and again, if I just want something for full coverage, I have a lot more darker shades in this for some of my 
um, darker skinned women. So um, stick foundations also and then I keep some MAC concealer palettes in here. So these kind of have some correctors in them as well. The third drawer is moisturizers, primers, and setting powders. Oh, and I also have another <laughs> correcting um, palette. This is from Tarte. This is really nice. I actually wanted to use this for clients because if anyone has like a lot of acne or redness, this is great for that. You know, you can use the green one to correct redness. Um, if they have a lot of veins. Um, showing you can use the yellow one so this is a really cool and nice correcting color correcting palette um, but yeah I keep moisturizers primers in here some of my favorites the professional by benefit also the pores no more by dr. Uh, Brandt this one's great and I just keep some of my Ben Nye setting powders and my makeup forever HD setting powder so that is everything that's in here. I like to use a moisturizer that's safe for all skin types too, so I use the Aveeno Deli Moisturizer, and this has SPF as well. Moving on to the last drawer. This is my highlight and contour palette drawer. Um, some of these were a little bit smaller palettes, so I wanted to put them in here. Um, I have the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop um, Palette which has some blushes in here as well. I love this one. I've used this a lot on myself, but I wanted to put that in there. Um, also the Tardis Pro Glow. These have some amazing highlights, um, and there's a contour in here that I love too. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand <laughs> as I'm holding the drawer. So yeah, Tardis Pro Glow, great highlighters. There's actually a cream contour in there too. And then I just keep two of the Anastasia Glow Kits. I was going to put my Nicole Guerrero uh, Glow Kit in here, but I use that for myself. And I honestly kind of want to save it because I only have one of them. <laughs> I'll probably have to buy a backup because I use that every day on myself. But yeah, so that is my highlight and contour um, drawer. Moving on to the other side. This drawer has eyeliners, glitters, mascara, just an all-around eye drawer. So I keep some of the Stila um, Magnificent, what are these? Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. Um, some of the Tarte Glitter Eyeliners right here. Um, I use those a lot. At the bottom, I have a ton of Makeup Forever eyeliners, all different colors depending on what look they want. Um, some brown, black. I have multiple black eyeliners, um, just like regular pencil ones. And then I have the Their Real Push Up Liner, which I love to use on clients. Some mascaras, gel liner by Maybelline. So, yeah, just a eye drawer. Next drawer is my lash drawer. Um, I have two different lashes in here. Um, normally I like to just get these, which is like the five pack of, or this is a four pack, never mind. Um, the four pack of Wispies or Demi Wispies by Ardell. This is my like favorite go-to lash for clients. So these are most likely what everyone picks, but I wanted to have options. Um, so I normally get these packs. Usually they're around like 11 or $12 for a four pack. Um, and normally for one pack, it's like four or five dollars. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, and then I have some double ups, some glamour, random Ardell ones. Um, I have a bunch of socialize, all different styles. And I also have some House of Lashes too. So majority of the time I'm getting Ardell from the drugstore to use on clients. If anyone knows, places that I can get Ardell lashes in bulk that are cheaper, let me know because I'm always, I'm always just going to like Target or Sally's or Cosmoprof to get Ardell lashes and I feel like I need to get them in bulk now that I'm getting booked up for weddings. It's just better to get multi-pack. So if you know any website or anything that I can get Ardell lashes in bulk for cheap, I'll let your girl know. Next drawer is tools, shadow shields, eye primers. So yeah, a bunch of my tools in here, eye lash curler, some lash tweezers. These are from Tarte. Um, I have some shadow shields if I'm doing like a dark look. 
um, some mascara wands, which is essential for clients because you need to use disposable mascara wands and lip wands. I get these off CameraReadyCosmetics.com. They have a lot of cheap things for, you know, pro makeup artists. Um, also, Shadow Switch. Shadow Switch Duo. You basically twirl your brush around and it gets the shadow off if you're using the same brush for, you know, multiple colors. It's just a color switch thing. Lash glue. A bunch of eye primers. I have Glitter glue, Smashbox 24 hour, shadow insurance, um, some tweezers, some scissors I like to keep if I need to like groom up someone's brows with uh, a spoolie. I got these from Tweezerman. Sharpener, you know. So this is basically just like a tools drawer. I also keep brushes in here for like eyebrows and eyeliner. And that is it for this drawer. Last drawer I have, which I probably could have split up into two drawers, but I just decided to put it all in one drawer. Um, this is my lip drawer. So lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses. Also, again, have my disposable doe foot applicator lip wands. These are essential. Make sure you're not using the wands that are in the lip glosses or anything. Lipsticks are a different thing. You can, you can put this on someone's lips, but you just have to spray it with alcohol. Again, that's why I have it. Um, you know, spray it with some alcohol, wipe it with a tissue, and you know, it's clean. So lipsticks are a little bit different. Same with lip liners, they're easy to sanitize, but for when you're using lip glosses or a liquid lip, definitely make sure you're using disposable lip wands. So as you can see, I have a ton of MAC lipsticks, um, ranging from nudes to reds to um, I mean, I have so many different colors in here, but some of my staples that I like to use on um, brides and stuff, like Cream Cup, um, Honey Love, Whirl, um, Blankety is another nice nude color. Uh, I have so many. I have like three Honey Loves in here because that's my favorite. Kind of Sexy, Captive, um... Rebel, Rebel's like a purpley color. I would use that for poems. So yeah, just a bunch of MAC lipsticks and also a bunch of MAC lip liners. Um, I think I have some Makeup Forever ones in here as well. I have a bunch of different colors. I like to be prepared just in case someone asks for a dark lip or a red lip. So I do have a lot of nude shades, but I also have brighter colors and darker colors for lip liners and lipsticks. As far as lip glosses, like um, a lot of people just wear their own gloss or like they have a gloss to touch up with. So um, I just keep, you know, a few neutral colors. These are the ColourPop ones. I love these because they're not sticky. Um, they're just, they're beautiful on. They give you a nice shine. They're not like super, super pigmented, but they're nice to put over a lipstick. And normally when I'm doing brides or wedding makeup or prom, I like to use a lip liner and a lipstick because it just lasts a lot longer. So that's it. That is my lip drawer. And that is everything that's in my train case. I'm sure I'll add to my train case down the road, but this is just what I keep in it for right now. And these are my essentials. This is what I carry with me for all of my uh, makeup appointments. Um, I like to be prepared. I don't like to not have enough stuff. So yes, I do carry a lot with me. But for some weddings that I have coming up where I'm doing you know, six to 10 people, this is perfect. Um, I love the setup. I love everything about this train case. I'm super happy with it. And I got it on sale for, I feel like a bargain. So I will have a link below. Um, no, this is not sponsored. I purchased this myself. This is the first time I'm trying out this train case and just wanted to kind of share it with you. Oh, by the way, um, this thing right here, this is probably where I'm going to keep like business cards or something or just like some papers um, maybe like my license but this flap that comes down there's a little like mesh uh, velcro thing here so if you wanted to put some things in there you could do that but I don't have anything in there right now so that is it for my say a beauty train case video I hope you guys enjoyed watching I hope this was helpful for any of you who are looking into freelancing for makeup um, this, this can definitely can also be used for hair and makeup. Um, it doesn't have to just be for makeup, but I love it. So happy with it. 
Um, again, I will have links below to everything of where you can find um, these train cases. Hopefully I can find a coupon for you guys um, that you can list below because I did end up finding one for myself. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And my camera died. Sorry about that, guys. Just figured I would voice over on the end slate. Um, please follow me on all of my socials. They did change. My Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter are listed here and below in the description box. Please subscribe if you aren't already and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Subscribe to my vlog channel if you're interested in seeing more of my life. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.